we're here because we're very excited to announce a $2.95 million uh, donation from the California state budget to the Angel Island Immigration Station, the Angel Island State Park. Angel Island was something that growing up, I grew up in Southern California, so I didn't know as much about Angel Island until I went to UC Berkeley. And I took, like many Asian Americans, I took introduction to Asian American studies, learned about our community's history, and of course, one of the first things you learn about is the cultural significance of Angel Island and how for many years, it, it was the immigration station, the customs station for anybody entering on the West Coast from 1910 to 1940. And we had almost a million people who would come and go from that immigration station, many of them Chinese American, about 175,000 of them. And, and what's amazing isn't the numbers, but it's really all the stories and what it means to not just Chinese American history, California history, but really American history. Because almost everybody knows Ellis Island and the significance of Ellis Island. And as a state, I don't think we've really done our part to make sure everyone knows about Angel Island in that same way. And I was rather disappointed to not even know about it till I was in college. But it's very exciting today to be able to announce really the final piece of funding that will help with the restoration of the hospital on Angel Island. The overall project is about a $40 million project. The hospital's about $11 million project. And I know our almost $3 million are really going to be the final piece of the puzzle. Angel Island State Park is very excited to receive this additional and final funding for the completion of the Public Health Service Hospital at the United States Immigration Station. With it, we will not only be able to complete the building itself, but also establish the exhibits within. The United States Immigration Station at Angel Island is currently visited by almost 20,000 people yearly, many of them with ties to the station. You can enter the restored barracks and step back in time to walk the same path an immigrant took between 1910 and 1940. Over 7,000 children come to understand the processing of the people that happened from over 85 countries from this historic time. The vision for the hospital building is slightly different. Rather than a complete immersion back in history, this building will complement that experience as a space for current conversation. In addition to historically accurate vignettes of doctors and nurses offices and a ward, there will be spaces encouraging rotating exhibits and relevant dialogue. In keeping with California State Park's mission to provide for the health, inspiration, and education, we welcome people of all backgrounds to experience their parks. Telling these accounts about 85 countries, immigrants, and more creates a place where all Californians can find a piece of their story here. Embracing the diversity of the American experience and providing opportunities for all Californians to relate to. So the foundation has been working uh, for more than 30 years to turn a history of exclusion into a future of inclusion securing more than $40 million for the site in state, federal, and private funding for its restoration. Because of our work, the restored detention barracks and the precious poems were open to the public in 2009. And now, thanks to the leadership of Assembly Members Ting and Chu, the Pacific Coast Immigration Center at Angel Island State Park will be a reality. Located in the Public Health Service Hospital at the Immigration Station, the center will have interactive displays, rotating exhibits, and more, and all highlighting the very diverse stories of Pacific Rim immigrants. So Japanese, Filipinos, Koreans, South Asians, Russians, Jews fleeing eastward across Asia, Mexicans, Ecuadorans, and more. Because more than a million immigrants from more than 80 countries entered the country through Angel Island. And now we'll have a place to really tell their stories. And we are here at the Chinese Historical Society to really show off what Angel Island looked like back in the day for immigrants who were coming here. And what you heard of, and uh, if you ever have a chance to see the barracks, what you heard of is all the stories of immigrants who would be in these detention cells having a pretty nice view of San Francisco and being so close to their dream of getting to this country, to being part of the American dream, but not quite being there. And you'll see, you know, you'll see some of the uh, writings. These are uh, replicas of the writings that are actually etched in stone, carved in stone, poems that many of these immigrants wrote into the walls that are really there forever 
but really our story of how important it is and what sort of cultural significance we have for Angel Island. So again, we couldn't be more proud than to be a small part of this incredibly significant institution. We're very proud to, again, support this state park and to really make sure that everybody, every Californian, every American, really learns our history about Angel Island.